Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll provide an introduction to the response spectrum analysis available in Simulation Premium Linear Dynamics module. We will use a shock response spectrum for the example. Typically, a customer presents a response spectrum curve to you and asks for analysis on their structure. The response spectrum can be used as input for the FEA model from which you can find response magnitude of areas all over the model. For example, shock acceleration information may have been obtained from an impact test, and the time history might look like this. Typically, other software is used to process the signal to develop what is called a shock response spectrum, or SRS, that might look like this. The shock response spectrum represents the peak response of a range of single degree of freedom oscillators to that particular shock test, and it can be used on a multiple degree of freedom system, such as a finite element model. With response spectrum simulation, you can predict the peak response of the structure using the SRS as input. An overview of the steps to conduct a response spectrum analysis follows. Obtain the input response spectrum from test data, which has been processed, or direct specification. Identify loading points, restraints, and materials for the structure as usual. Decide on the number of natural frequencies to extract to include in the modal summation. Decide on the modal combination method. Set up the response spectrum analysis and input the loading curve. Run the analysis. Here are some results showing peak response of the structure due to a shock. A shock response spectrum was used as base excitation input to all the fixed restraints. In this video, we provided an introduction to the response spectrum analysis.